Yo, <clears throat> yo, Elliot, I have just started to embrace the idea of being more kind to myself. I have been paying attention to my thoughts and subtle inner dialogue. I was chopping wood the other day, never really chopped wood before. When I hit the log in a way that I didn't like, and it would be very negative and made me cuss. I realized it then, I decided to instead tell myself good jobs when I hit it with a good hit, which was far more often. Do you have any good resources for people who have any, who have ideas on how to be more kind to yourself or celebrate your wins at least equal to how much you examine your faults or can you share your own experience? Brian, what I would say is have no judgment about it either way. This is the essence of being a king once again, which is to allow yourself to be. When you're in your head, you're, the head is always judging. Every time you are judging, know that you are in your magician, right? We talk about king, warrior, magician, lover. The magician, the lover, and the warrior are all subject to the king. They're all of our lower nature, right? You know, that's why it's like, it's, it's dangerous to idealize any one of the, those three. The king, of course, is because of our, it is our ideal. The king is our ideal. But when you begin to idealize any of the, you know, the, the warrior, magician, or the lover, what you do is you start to give that archetype dominion over your life, whether you know it or not. And you've got a lot of magician stuff going on right now. And you, we know this because you're judging. And that's what the magician does. The magician judges. He's judging. He's discerning. It's a good idea. But you're making judgments. And so my opinion is to get out of, get out of that cramp. Notice what you're doing, but then just leave it. Notice it, oh, I'm getting angry, and then leave it. Don't feel as if you need to do something special. Instead, <clears throat> just allow yourself to be. Notice I'm judging and you and just stop judging. That's really it. Resources, uh, you want to know about how to be more kind to yourself. I don't think you need to be kind to yourself. I don't think, I don't think we need to be kind to ourselves. I think we need to stop judging ourselves, right? Because then it, it becomes another obsession. I'm being kind to myself, right? What does that mean? There's this whole movement of uh, like self-care that I think is just another level of narcissism. You don't need self-care. You need to let yourself be. And that's what I think with this here. Uh, celebrating wins, yeah. But I don't see celebrating wins as any more noble than denigrating your losses. They're both swings of the pendulum. So celebrate your win. All right, so what? Oh, so denigrate your loss. Well, so what? Really be objective about both of them. You win, okay, that's nice, you win. You lose, okay, big deal, you lose. You're up, okay, big deal, you're up. You're down, okay, big deal, you're down. The whole idea is to stay in the middle. The whole idea is not to let the mood swings control you, not, is to not let the divergent thoughts control you. So many times we grow, ungrounded because we're believing every thought and every feeling that blows in from the wind. Notice it, let it go. Hope that helps, dude. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation coaching students where among many things, we get together about four or five hours a week where we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. And if you wanna join a like-minded group of men that get together every day to grow stronger in every way during this degenerate age, it's real simple, just 
follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me or one of my teammates will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I really hope to see you perhaps at our next live call. Done.